He was very, I mean, he was like, dude, you got to talk to this guy. You got to get him on your show, da da da, da right? Mm -hmm. And he says, when you get to talking to him, <laughs> talk to him on about how he sees things because he's a very out of the box. And I'll tell you, when he said that to me, like, holy shit, we're going to like this guy because we're very much the same way. Okay. We don't do... I'm still on the fence about him. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> we well, you're build it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're paying for it. Uh, but <laughs> no, 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 Smart man. No, the reason why I say you better build it because yeah. a lot of times we are taught in a way of structured curriculum, structured yeah. movements. Right. But a lot of times it's, it's a guideline. It's here's a system, here's a technique I want you to learn. But I tell them the students is make it yours. Because some certain Hallelujah, thank you so much. <laughs> Fucking A. <laughs> well, because everybody says that, but they never mean it though. We'll repeat it in slow motion. Yeah. Yeah. Make it yours. <laughs> right, but how many people when you change it, the, they the get mad. just get mad. No, no, that's not the technique anymore. No, it, <laughs> it's not because why? <laughs> because that's not what they were used to seeing right. right but the thing is you want to learn adaptability because but way back when that would have worked <laughs> now people are more keen on it are more know? keen and they see yeah. it a lot thank you validation so, so <laughs> we're not crazy <laughs> so or maybe i don't know you know we're crazy we're crazy <laughs> so now that all of a sudden a technique that was a surprising move before now it's like oh i expect you're gonna do that so yeah, here's, here's my, my counter, counter. Yeah, yeah i backed away and hit you <laughs> yeah so, so now what happens what happens to it nothing it, it's, yeah. it, it's, it's no longer it's useless, and then, yeah and then but again Oh, you need to hit fast, hit hard, and watch, yeah. hopefully you'll get them. Hopefully, <laughs> like, exactly. Well, because hopefully, again, yeah. it, it is a 50-50 a lot of times. Never, never, no one ever adds the hopefully part. <laughs> Everyone is just hit hard, hit fast. Yeah. No, because again, I try to hit somebody hit so hard, so fast, and I miss. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rude awakening. He spun around. <laughs> God damn, where'd he go? But here's the thing, though. But the thing is, I would like to say... I would like to say is, do not fear um, the um, the misfortunes because it it becomes a lesson that you. Oh learn. yeah, yeah, definitely. Because I, I totally agree with that. <laughs> Anytime you get hurt is a lesson. Oh yeah, it's like oh I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> Damn, I should be a genius by now. <laughs> but, but see the thing is, maybe you, I got hurt too much. <laughs> no, because but the thing is though, you will learn to see, you will learn to adapt, and you will absorb the pain because you know what it, it will you know what it feels like you're like shit uh, yeah <laughs> and you feel it again it's nothing <laughs> but here's the thing though every time that that certain person will flinch all of a sudden you're just nudging because you're anticipating yeah. you're like nah. yeah yeah whatever <laughs> so a lot of times it's a benefit but uh -huh. it's again it's it depends on the person's mindset yeah, and how you look at it. You how you look at it. If sometimes yeah. people look at it as a failure and right. they're down on them, some people look at it as a learning process. You're so. you're like this really cool balance between. <laughs> His nickname is Yoda. Yeah, <laughs> that, that is not. <laughs> he's, he's a really cool balance between like someone that's just very visceral, yeah. but at the same time very cerebral. Yes. Yeah, like, I, I love it. <laughs> You can kick my ass psychologically or physically, and I'm not sure which one you're doing right now. Are, are you teaching now? Um, I, I do teach. Good, let, 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 let's, let's pump the name. Um, I, I do teach on Saturdays in, um, in the NorCal, uh, right here, NorCal KSDI in Vallejo. In Vallejo. Yeah, in Benicia. <laughs> so, uh, so and and who, who are, what's your lineage as far as where did the you Kaju. Go? The yeah. Kaju Kembo is under uh, gra uh, Senior Grandmaster Emilio Bautista. Ooh. Uh, rest in peace. Yeah, may he rest, rest in, in peace. peace. <coughs> yes. So. We, we were able to talk to his son, uh, Joseph. Joseph, yes. Senior. And uh, he's a character. Oh, yeah. Real yeah. cool guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We need no to get joke, back though. to you, son. Yeah, we need to get a, the full get, thingy. Get back on thingy, the show. Thingy, thingy. <laughs> So we'll get you back or find you or something. I don't know. Are, are you doing the traditional stuff? I mean, now that now that I'm hearing from you that you, you kind of do what you need to do. That's kind to, of a loaded question. Well, are you well, doing the traditional stuff? Well, are, are you, do you stay within the confines of what you were taught or do you kind of... Um, I mean, because from what we're hearing everybody else, you kind of like... Yeah, You do and you don't. don't. <laughs> no, I mean, the thing is this. Because um, Kajakembo is a traditional system 
but from what I heard, <laughs> a traditional system in its own right. Okay. So, but I heard that our founder, Sijo uh, Ad Adriano Prado, was a, a FMA practitioner. Stake. So, I would, I wanted to incorporate that. And again, we, uh, with Grandmaster Emil Bautista's blessing, we uh, created and formed Kaju FMA. Right. So that's pretty much what we try to do is. That's, oh, what, that's what that says. <coughs> yeah, it's Sorry, it's round, so I could only see like the F part and half your boob. <laughs> yes. Half your boob. There you go. Oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Get a hunch it out and make it flat. So, <laughs> so but I mean, again, it, it is a Kaju Kembo where right. we try to incorporate an FMA um, insight. Oh, okay. That that's, that's interesting. Sounds, yeah, insight sound is a good. Okay, word. I like yeah. that. Because I've never known Kaiju to, to do a lot of sticks. I, I mean, I've, we've only heard that people are starting to incorporate yeah, Tony it. Ramos and yeah. uh, what's yeah. called it. Yeah, uh, David uh, Amakuchi. Yeah. Was, yes, was David Amakuchi. Guess again, you gotta understand is we do self defense with knives and clubs right. and everything. And again, it is part of the system. Right. right. But we have never incorporated to where. It's an actual main staple of okay. right. Like that's your belt group is FMA. <laughs> right. <laughs> no. Again, we try to incorporate because it's already blended in there. It's there. Right. We right. Just w what we try to do is we want to, you know, point it out and acknowledge. Like, look, there is the stick form within that system already. Right. Grab a stick. Let's do. F you know. Yeah. Punch art four. Exactly. And then all of a sudden, it's like instead of using uh, your empty hand, all of a sudden, oh, you, you have a club or a knife, and then. It's the same movement to yeah. where there is. So oh, that explains why Belinda Walk is so close to that. He is actually just started in Kaiju. All right. All right. Yes. Under. Shout out to Bob Gomez, Grandmaster awesome. Bob Gomez of Island Kaiju Kempo. Oh, Island. Island style Kaiju Kempo. Oh, okay. And where is that located? In Foster City. No, 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 Fremont. 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 I, don't know, I get those two mixed up. Yeah. Fremont. Okay. okay. City He's dyslexic. Damn it. If you want to visit him, go see him. Yeah. Okay. He's a good guy. We like him. All right. You like that, uh, GM Gomez? We're we're a shout out. Putting Ooh. your name out there. There we're, you go. <laughs> you're not, but we will. <laughs> <laughs> we're sending people out to you. <laughs> Even <laughs> this guy. <laughs> a good guy. It's a good guy. Yeah. So I mean, again, a lot of times is when they say, "I do think outside the box." Is it's not that I do think outside the box. It's you kick the box. No, it's more of um, no box. the way that I look. Um, I look at it and how uh -huh. me and my Cardenas talk about it. It's, it's Filipino martial art is more of a what if system. I like that mm. because a lot of times when you practice FMA is oh what happens if I hit here or so what happens if you block oh <laughs> then I go here and you know when, when that comes in when they're teaching especially with your and master I, I it's, hate, never it's, I, it's never I ending I hate hearing that from my students when they do that <laughs> well what if I do this go, dude it would be like a Chinese Kung Fu movie where it's like you do this I do this you do this. Yeah, it's like yes. cut it out right but again it gives you a valid interpretation of how you can react to what you're teaching right. it, it widens that instead of just one one movement right. of, of that whole system. Right, this technique here. Yeah, yeah but that, that stretches your class into a, a full day instead of just a two-hour class. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. Yeah. You are teaching... What, remember from the beginning, what we said is, right. are you trying to teach the student? Or, or are you trying to... Yeah. Oh, you're trying to make a living. Yeah, or trying to promote rent's it. expensive. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it, it's... Again, it, there's a balance, but if right. you right. want to enlighten or try to promote... Right. So let, let me ask you because because you do you are an instructor and, and you do some stuff. I would love to if you could um, do a demo with us. You know he'll play the uki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him okay. you can beat up and make cry. I don't care because as long as it's not me. I'm we still good. have a few minutes. Don't worry yeah. about it. We still have time. I mean I mean the thing is I like to ask permission. I got okay it. sure. I mean the thing is this. As I always ask students is sh um, teach me what you know because here's the thing. I don't want to influence you of what I know, right? But if I could help you of what you know and and, and kind of open up an an, an avenue of, of different thought, mm -hmm. dude, then, I, then, I love then, it. Then I could <laughs> then we we we, we can kind of explore and together. learn together yeah. instead of no no no. Well, it's we'll we'll tell you up front right now. We're stubborn as hell, so you won't influence us at all. <laughs> Well, I mean, the thing no, is, he's already influenced me. <laughs> no, you're, you're, you're on it. Nah. I, I like this like, guy. Not, no, like I said, it's, we're shop no, talking. No, we like you too, brother. <laughs> <laughs> we're 
never stop uh, talking. Uh, yeah, you know, and, and I love your idea that because I always ask the students myself. Right. I always just, I try to assess them. Okay, what do you know? Where have you been? Mm -hmm. Who have you learned under? All right, so let's cater our classes to that. Okay, so he's my instructor. Okay, and in the last month or so, mm -hmm. this is how he he gets he gives me my classes. Yeah, he gives me a word. Yes, and then he says, teach a class from that. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, how am I, <laughs> how am I gonna devise this, this formula to formulate this technique to make this word to right. make this? And and at one point after eight and a half years of, of kind of working this idea, it finally clicked. And the last two three classes that we've had with the other students, he's like, okay, now you do the class. Here's your word of the day. Like, like we're playing Sesame Street. Okay. You know, this it's class is brought to you by the word backpedal. <laughs> no, it's funny that you say words. Um, I had a student and I said this. All the technique that I'm teaching you, treat it as a letter. Ooh, there you go. I like that. Okay, so once you understand the techniques that I showed you as a letter, I want you to create a sentence between those techniques. By the time you... Um, Infuse yourself in creating sentences. The the longer you're practicing and learning those letters, sooner or later you're gonna be be creating words, paragraphs, and soon at the end you will create your own novel. Wow! So you have 26 techniques, because the Philippine only has 20. 20. No, <laughs> no, but here's the thing: is I just substitute each technique that I give as a letter for them, as ah, symbolizing. That's not for him. It's symbolizing what the... Oh, no, no, I know. I would just mess with you, man. Again, I'm not, so, I just want to clarify just so saying, everybody knows. I have a variation of that, right? Okay. I take... Right? Because this, this is cool. I love this. We just did this the other day, right? Uh -huh. So I, one of my newer students, all right, uh -huh. I'm going to teach you the letters, right? Yes. But we're only, we're only going to work on the letter A. So okay. the letter A is what? Line here, line here, and a line across, right? Yes. So that's the strike. One, two, three. And that's okay. Now turn that letter this way. Oh, now you go up here. You go up here and go here. Okay, now turn it upside down. Oh, it's here, here, and here. Next thing you know, I said, okay, now. swinging away. Now I can okay, now do a broken strike, a chopping strike, and a fluid strike doing those three things. Yeah. Next thing chopping, you know, they learned broken. how to swing fluid. three shot combos. They learn how to do the three styles of striking. And then they learn because. The ranging. When you do the, 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 they have to learn footwork. Yeah. Yes. For ranging. So it's right. like, holy crap, this is an entire class. On one letter. On one letter, exactly. <laughs> but see, the thing, a lot of times is a lot of schools will have their curriculum. <laughs> so Here, like, let me teach you this line of the letter oh, first. Yeah. And then next yeah. week we'll teach you this <laughs> line. And then next week we'll teach you so, this line. But again, again, it's all it depends on the school and how the instructor incorporates that lesson. Right. No, no, no shade on any no, instructor. No, no, no. Everyone yeah. has no, their reasons. Right. And again, we're that's, just talking shop. <laughs> yeah, no, because again, it's, it's, the, it's the process of how they learn. Right. right. And I'm not knocking everybody on everybody down. It's that's how they're processing in teaching or relaying what they have learned. And in his defense, we asked him how he does it. Yeah. So, but a lot of times is I love it though. Yeah, but it's awesome. I, so again, a lot of times when I teach students, and you can ask uh, my students, is uh -huh. every time that I teach them a lesson, I always ask them if they're comfortable, because it validates that they're understanding it. And once you, once they say, once they say that they're comfortable, to me personally, it opens it up and gives me a check mark to alter it. Right. Because hey, you said you're comfortable and you understood So now it. let's move some things around. Yes. I love it. Yes. Because uh, again, you, what you're great. doing is you're, it's not, it's not a group thing, but it's an individual within the group. Thank you. I love this guy. God. That's how, yeah, we always say the individual student is the most important person in the room. Yes. It's not the entire room, it's the individual, each person. Yeah, we've had classes where there's three instructors to one student. Yes. <laughs> and, and the student is like, this is a, yeah, but, but they pick it up so much faster because it, it, we don't teach yeah, three different ideas, right? But it's yeah. the same thing. Yeah, it's, it's three different ideas, oh, but the but the thing is, the student, how well can he absorb it? Because again, well, yeah. the, there's a conflict. <laughs> well, no, and, and, and we make sure that that it's not much of a conflict. No. but it, it becomes the individual's preference to which yes. way they want to apply. This is the way we see it, right? So, okay. 
you give the lesson, yes. this is what you see. Yes. He gives the lesson, this is the perspective. Right. I give the same lesson, this is the other side. Yeah. Okay. It's so, all the same cup though. It's all in the same cup. Yeah. But, but, you just see but if you say this, if I teach you this material, right? right? And then you teach it, if I'm here, uh -huh. And I'm teaching you of this. Angle. We're using Legos. Sorry. Yes, we're using Legos because it's, avail it's available. <laughs> They're here. But an instructor, right. another instructor, teaches in this angle, looking right. at the same uh, thing. Right. It's gonna be a different. Of course. Oh, of course. Yeah. Their, perce and then their perception. Here will, yeah. will be a different angle. Right. Yes. Also. Exactly. So now, a lot of times is, a lot of schools, teach martial arts, in a right-handed dominant. Yes. Form. <laughs> I am a left-handed. I've met at least two practitioners that I could have sworn were right-handed only to come find out, no, I'm a lefty. I'm like, all this time? <laughs> yes. So, and again, all schools are right-handed dominant. Yes, 90% of So, people. a lot of times, they it's, will... You're the weird one. Yes. They will only look at that one side. Right. No, but again, to yeah. me, I look at it as, a, as a, an advantage to learn because now I could replicate on my dominant side what I know on my right. My, yeah. No, I, I, I totally agree with that. And, and <laughs> dude, I would not want to fight him. Yeah, no, because he'd kick my ass left-handed because I'm always looking for the right hand. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone I mean, is. Again, you got to understand is in any sport, right-handed, uh, uh, left-handed has a dominant yeah. <laughs> advantage. Yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> because uh, most of all situations, they're used to a right-handed coming at them. Yeah, the first few times Southpaw showed up in the boxing ring. Yes. yes. Well, the dog's boxers had no idea what the hell to do with that. Exactly. Because, because <laughs> why is he so close all of a sudden? <laughs> no, because why is what happened is um, <laughs> their peripheral perspective is totally skewed. Yes, uh, because they're yeah. so used to seeing it one sided all of a sudden. Right. It's like, like what you said, oh my gosh, why is he close? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm just right here. I'm but, just you know, to weird. that point. Mm -hmm. In the way that we train and the way that his brother taught us in the Bladed Mind, yes. he taught us to understand it's still just the one cup. It is one cup. Yeah. And then that's why he says, you know, they're all the same because for us, it's the one cup. We're just looking at different okay. angles of it and we're just trying to understand the most we possibly okay. can of it. So lift it. Lift up the cup. There it is. No, on the handle. On I the was going to say it's made in China. Okay. <laughs> See? That's how he holds it, right? Right. Right-handed. Right-handed. Oh, but this is for lefties, so then you can show off the logo. Exactly. <laughs> so that's meant for left-handed. Ah, <laughs> and that's you had influence in these, didn't you? <laughs> you told hey, Mike, do it this way. Fuck you, Mike. God damn it. Left-handed box. <laughs> See, perspective. Again, it's the perspective. But you, you, know, you know what's fascinating great. what you just said, though? Because whenever I drink my stuff, it's always with the left hand. Yeah. Because I'm eating with, with the right, yeah. right, right hand. Right. So and that's no, that's pretty much what it is. Yeah. Is because <laughs> you're right-handed dominant. Yeah. This is what you drink, and this is what you eat. Yeah. Right. See, so it it is correct. <laughs> but, left -handed cup. <laughs> but because I'm left-handed, and I force my influence on left-handed. You thought that was meant for me. That's right. But when I use it, I use my Mr. right. Carlito. Oh, you're gonna come into the show here. Yes, sir. Hey, folks, look who just showed up. Carlito oh, Bonjock, say hi to the people. Yeah, come yes, on. Oh, oh, no, come oh, over here and just say <laughs> Yes, we're in here. That's been yeah, that's 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 as always. We always make time for you. Come on. <laughs> yeah, get over here. We want you to say hello. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Right here. Get over. Get over. Get over. Just say come hello. on in right here. Let me say hello. Come on in. Hey, do you know this crazy guy? Of course, man. Oh, I should have known. Folks, look who just arrived. Our good friend. <laughs> we were going to set up something new anyway, so don't worry. Yeah. Although his footwork sucks. <laughs> no, he just rolls. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just he rolls, rolls with all the punches. <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta understand, this is a collaborative. <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> He'll take a hip hop. Holy shit. Wow, wow. Good, good seeing good. you. Yeah. You look yeah. sexy today. What do you, what'd you do? Uh, take you, a shower? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> you brush his hair. <laughs> oh, brush yeah, exactly. hair. You look good today. Oh, thank, you, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, for dropping yeah, by unannounced. Awesome. And just interrupting our show. Show, which no, it's all right. <laughs> no, no, no. It's <laughs> it was, it was about that time. Oh, no, 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 no. You know me. I'm always on the background. You know me. Yeah. <laughs> He's actually getting ready to do a demo. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want to be the Uki? No. Oh no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that. 
<laughs> I don't, they, some guy throw people man. around, man. <laughs> That's him. We don't know what he does. Yeah, we will figure it out right now. Yeah. All right, well, we're folks, we're gonna be yes. right back. We were we'll gonna reset up. the camera to get a demo from uh, Jimmy. 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 Yeah, we, we have to keep it simple. Jimmy. It's Jimmy. Jimmy. Uh, Mirror door. Jimmy. Just in case <laughs> you wanted to know. All right, so is we're it right back. Filipino, you can say it. Is that what it is? Because it's Filipino, you can yes, say yeah, it? Can wow. All right, folks, we're back with uh, Jimmy here. Jimmy. And um, Jimmy boy. this is the part of the show where we always like to have uh, Naeem play the uki and our guest do a little demo. So I'm going to step out of the way. Do you want to shout out again to, uh, for your school or, or anybody? Uh, sure. Um, the school is called uh, NorCal KSDI in Vallejo. So it's at 974 Benicia Road. Right. Is that uh, Emil's old place? Yes, it's Emil's old because place. Because we want to shut that up because, you know... Um, it's the oldest school. <laughs> well, yeah, especially up there in that yes. area. So, Good. great. That's the oldest school? Yes, yeah. um, So, I'm going to get out of the way and they're going to get knock each... Well, he's going to knock him out a couple of times. Because, again, if you make him yell out, it's $25. He's an intellectual. Oh, he... Yeah, he probably will. He'll know how to <laughs> knock you out. All right, I'm out. <laughs> so, I'm just excited because... Okay, so right now we're just gonna go um, in here. Mike calls it the four corners, but okay. some people call it sombrada. Oh, okay. So we're just going through the motion from right here, here. Like that, right? And then a lot of times is we tell students to do a disarm. So, like in number one, do your disarm, a disarm from here. Boom. Right? And then in number two, comes in. So again, those are the two, probably a three. Basically. A three, a three comes in, it's a stab, so you're going to do a wide walk. Yeah, and then do a guitar from there. That's it right there. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the flow. Some broader flow until I tell him when to do a guitar. So now, as we're going through the rhythm, as a movement, I'm going to say, whenever you see a number two, disarm. Okay? okay. Here we go again. Here we go. So now what have happened is no longer a choreograph where, oh, here's a two, now you block it. Here is just a sequential to where any time the, the stick comes into play, he sees it. And it's no longer choreographed, it's an actual application. It's in real time. In real time. So now, I'm not going to ask him to do a disarm, but here's the thing. I want you to, him to do the same sombrada. Here goes again. And again, what just happens? He's doing the same movement to what he was when we were doing the right hand. All I did and alter it to be the left. Now here we go again, one more time. And do it again, one more time. Do that. Boom, boom, boom. So now he's looking at it in a double stick. So it's no longer a drill to where we're just taking it for granted. It's like, oh my gosh, it is so fast and so cool. Right. We're changing the elements, and what we're trying to do is change the peripheral of the person, of the practitioner, because a lot of times they're so used to a person. On the one specific side. <laughs> and you know what, it, folks, what, what I notice is that as we're changing these angles and he's doing double sticks and he's telling me to think other than the sequence, when we go back to the original sequence, it's cleaner. Yes. It's sharper, it's tighter, like I can get more sense of where the power is. Yes. So what's happening is you are being in touch or feeling where the stick is. Here's another thing. Huh? If I go here, right, and we're going through the whole motion. Now, all I'm going to ask you to do is no contact. And a lot of times students are get disrupted or can, cannot continue because why? They don't have the validation <laughs> of that. So a lot of times, all of a sudden, they feel awkward. They feel like, oh my gosh. Because the reason why I ask this uh -huh. is because most of the time, you're not connecting this. You're so excited, all of a sudden you're missing like, oh wait, wait, let's do that again. And you have to start over. <laughs> but here, I'm forcing the students right, to you not. Miss and then touch when yes, you need to. Yes, yes. So you're shadow. <laughs> 
So that's another sense that you can validate. Yeah. Anytime. And it gives you a, a good idea of then your your range. It's like, yes. oh, yes. I can. Look at that. Your shadow waxing and it's and it's fine. So now from here, right? Continue, continue. So. Boom, boom, boom. Disconnect. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, now it's like, wait, 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 wait. So, again, the aspect, the Your brain just... Yes, because a lot of times, we, unfortunately, we take it for granted. We're just going through the through motions. Through the motions, and we're not thinking about yes. what we're doing. Here. You have to think about what you're... Wait, keep going, keep going. Exactly. So, a lot of times, this is what we try to teach. And this is... Wow. Okay. Well, before we move on, because I, I want to, uh, you mentioned something that you like bringing FMA um, concepts yes. into Kaju. Okay. And so, now I've started Kaju recently. Okay, so what is, uh, so for example, Kaju yes. punch number one. Okay. There goes a punch. Okay, what's okay. your defense? Boom. Okay. Okay. Bop. Bop. Boom. Okay. So now, as a concept, if I go punch, boom, see that? Uh -huh. Oh. Where, where are you going to do now? Right. Okay, continue, continue. Boom. Now, where is the next move after that? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> because it changes the whole. It, it changes, but what I'm trying to do is, uh, it's not a one-sided. Right. It's so what I'm doing fight. is acknowledge each of your movements. Uh -huh. Boom. I learned that from FMA too. <laughs> yes. So again, that is that is added because right now I couldn't draw back. Right, because I was like, no, I want to punch you. <laughs> yes, but see the thing is, you, when you step, yes. now you punch, right there. Right. Now you see what this happens. Right. So what what is my what is you see my toe coming? Yeah. Up to support myself. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Foxy held himself back. He was able to lean further. He's using my foot as his weight. He's like, all right, I'm good. But by lifting his big toe, like I didn't, oh my God, that's crazy. So again, yeah, here yeah, he yeah. goes again. I'm yeah. gonna step on your foot. Yeah. Okay, go. Oh. <laughs> you can do it, Michael Jackson. <laughs> but again, it's a subtle, a subtle thing. Right. So again, but you're thinking on both sides. You're not just oh yes. oh I got hit. No, it's like oh crap, I'm there. What do I do now? Yes, because again, a lot of times when we're stepped here, it's like right. okay, I'm done. So now you might say oh where's the FMA of that? No, it's the subtlety, it's the influence. Not it's not old, all just FMA. separate technique. Yeah. No, it's not. It's infused in there. So again, for number one punch, right. boom, boom. There it is. So now, you see, again, I'm the defender. Uh -huh. So as I punch, it's all of a sudden. Ooh, yeah. So now, what just happened there? Right, it threw this off and then it throws off my rhythm of what I do next. Yes, so now from here. Right. Because why? I am not going with this. In Filipino martial is what we say is so what if. Right. I do one thing, you do something, yes. I do rule, I respond. It's a give and take. It's back and forth. But a lot of times in school, right. again. Just the one punch, I do my thing, you do nothing but get yes. punched. <laughs> exactly. But here, because right. I want you to react to it, a lot of times. Okay, number one again. Boom. Boom. Again, one more time. So from here, is that all you can have from there? From this punch right here, right. What, what is your finishing? What can you do to... Right. For me? Yes. Because I'd like to have a mate uh, with the elbow okay, to the back the head, of the head. Right. Yeah. From here, it's a sweep. Right. And then okay, turn to that the solar plexus. Oh! Sorry, well... <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, but again, we were shop talking. <laughs> we got yeah. caught up in what we were doing. We forgot we were in yes. front of the camera. See what happens when we're on our own plan. So, <laughs> we, were, we were playing, people. So here it goes again. Boom. Okay, so a lot of times, again, one more time. Whoa. So what did I <laughs> that do? That throws it off. <laughs> I just threw him off right. just a slight. And one of the things that I reason why I do this is so that they don't go through the motions of it. Without understanding it. Yes, because a lot of times I tell them, pause, create your own temple. Right. Again, create your own temple. Temple, yes, right yeah. there. 
right there you go so now you have your own rhythm it's no longer a one shot so you're constantly moving towards application instead of repetition yes <laughs> yeah i love it okay so it's anything, awesome so anything else no no i think yeah no rick dude that i was that was so cool dude that was some awesome stuff folks you don't realize why we're really liking this guy yeah, it's the same mindset of, of not... Why the hell has Mike yeah. been hiding him from us know, this whole right? time? We understand... If you guys know, I was uh, the timekeeper. I was the <laughs> photographer. <laughs> yes, he was. He was calling you. Oh, that's what... <laughs> that's oh, right. that, that, that's that, what... Because we never even know... He was like, like, okay, people, five minutes. He goes, you have I'm here minutes. all the time. I go, I Everybody never recognize Everybody in A, you. you're going to be in B. <laughs> I think he even told us where we were that day. Yes. Oh, oh my God. God. That was me. If you ever go to any Mace event... That was me directing you guys. Yes. So go at the VA uh, Facebook page and oh you'll see God. pictures of him in the background I'm doing so this. I'm even embarrassed now to even recognize you. I never even knew you were an instructor. But here's here's the thing, folks. <laughs> he he doesn't just talk about this stuff. He actually lives it so much so that he's become a background character on purpose. <laughs> on purpose. He doesn't want to be the guy. He promotes the art yeah. and the love of learning. But, and that's it. That's but it. you can see his passion for us. You can see it. Yeah, yeah, look yeah. at that it, smile. It's all right and then, there. It's dude, amazing. we got caught up in our own crap. We forgot I know, about you the, forgot camera. the camera. I thought, like, <laughs> what, what are they, they doing? doing? Yeah. I, I didn't want to interrupt. Totally <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt. Then we had and enough. you were like, wait, are you done? Are you yeah. Done? I had enough pictures of your ass to last a week. Like, shit, hey, turn around. <laughs> hey, you guys are going to have to pay extra for that, an extra $5 in your donation. Hey, folks, again, if you want to hook up with this young man, he's out in Vallejo. Vallejo. At NorCal. NorCal KSDI. Go check him out. Uh, Jimmy Mirador. 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 Yes. So go check him out. Yes. Do um, you want to say anything to anybody? Or anybody? Like, shout out. Bad mouth anyone? No. <laughs> no, no I, just to Mike. Wanted, I just want to thank Mike for inviting us here for this event. Always. Yeah. And then for you two to. He only invites you because he needs somebody to help talk to people. Time around. And, and for, for you <laughs> two, thank you for inviting. You know, Considering me as part of your dude, are you kidding? No, dude, you're part of the family now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you you're, you're, gonna, you. you're gonna be our roadie for the show. <laughs> hey, yeah, you're gonna yeah, help us there. Sure, okay. no problem. <laughs> All right, folks. So this has been an awesome uh, episode of Color Conversation with me, Rick, and me, and, and, and our good friend, friend Jimmy. Jimmy Mirador. Mirador. All right. All right, folks. So the next and one. Three, two, one. Cut. <laughs>